Uh, really, I'm, uh, my name is Matura Bakhir. I'm uh, originally from Darfur. I'm a mom of three children, two uh, teens and uh, one three. Uh, I'm a founder of Darfur Women Network Organization. Thank you so much for uh, this opportunity. Thank you, TEDx, and uh, thank you for listening. My topic is uh, cultural conflict between African immigrant parents and their teenager uh, children. Uh, within 18 uh, minutes, we are uh, going together to examine the conflict sources and map out the causes of the conflict and find out how to develop relevant means to build constructive relationship and peaceful environment in immigrant families. Uh, for the background or uh, introduction, uh, we know that our city of Fort Wayne embraced a huge number of immigrants from uh, different countries. Mostly, uh, war forces them to leave their countries and came here seeking refuge place, better education for themselves and their children, and brighter future. Most of them knew that uh, language should be a challenge for them and how to adapt to new countries. All of you knew that their, their children uh, speak perfect English, and most of the Americans assume that immigrants are very happy here. But that is not the case for those who are parents of uh, teenagers and even the teens or their children. Most of those parents and their children suffer and struggle silently. Parents are sad, disappointed, confused, and even some of them regret for bringing their children here. Children also confused, bored, and they have no voice. So let us find out how. Uh, the conflict or the problem, according or based on my uh, uh, personal and work experience, my educational background, I uh, conducted research for my uh, master's degree in intercultural services, leadership and management from International Training Institute in Vermont. And uh, to find out uh, what is the, the root causes of the conflict between the African immigrant parents and their children. So the first question I ask my uh, interviewee is, uh, do you think there are disagreements between African immigrant children and their parents? And these inter uh, interviewees are from four countries. They are male and female, and adults, parents, and their uh, teenager children, aged between 18 and 55 years. So I use uh, qualitative research uh, and observation and survey and uh, interview to conduct this research. Uh, when I asked them this question, I found that all uh, participant response were that disagreement or conflict within African immigrant families exists. So when I asked them what are the causes of these disagreements, I found that the response uh, emerged from that uh, question are different between parents and their uh, teenager children. Parents see that their children are irresponsible, they are not serious or too, uh, play too much, they are selfish and hold these things, and also they don't have uh, religion education and also they uh, emphasize on discipline. When I go to the 
children, I found that the response or the topic uh, emerged from the response. They say the children, their parents don't listen. They do not explain their own view and how they act differently than them. And also they complain that uh, teenager boys not heard in their families' uh, houses. They are confused and they see that their parents need to be educated and uh, also they talk so much about the discipline. So when I go to, the, to find out what is the, the main uh, factor for this agreement or this conflict, between those people, I found that mostly cultural, cultural difference. So a lot of define the culture to find out how this culture has a strong influence for this relationship. Culture has influence in our life, how we can live, how we interact. Also, culture can shape our uh, perception, our behavior, our choices. When I went back to the community to find out why this is different, I found that the adult uh, parents who came from different cultures, particularly uh, collective culture, uh, they maintain their culture and reluctant to change. But at the same time, the children who were brought here to the United States, they assimilate to American cultural values. Being at the school, the cultural values and the social norms at the school and outside the, the world of the children in the new environment completely different than their parents' home. So the cultural values different. This is uh, as a result of that, children have different styles, uh, have uh, different choices different uh, perception and uh, all this it is always misunderstood and being unacceptable by their parents at home so this is to create conflict at their parents home as a result we found that different perception behavior lifestyle children imitate their uh, their peers absence of dialogues at the home, language, technology, economic, all this is a factor or root causes of this problem or the conflict at home. Let me explain little. Uh, for the language, most of them are able to explain, express themselves in English rather than their own language. But their parents can express and understand their own language more than English. So the connection between them is very difficult or awesome. This is one. The other thing that it's a relation between the technology and the economic status. Technology, I mean that children always try to, to use the entertainment, play games, use the computer, other kind of uh, devices or inter entertainment equipment. But at the same time, if we remember uh, parents say that their children are not serious and play too much. This is what they mean by that. At the same time, the economic status of uh, parents or the immigrants are very low or because the type of the job, the red pay and the availability is challenging the immigrants. So they are not able to uh, afford the technology equipment for their children. And that is result in children always angry, feel they, their home, uh, they are bored at home. So they start to find a friend or a friend of a friend who are known by their families or, or community to, to play with or, or help them with, to find entertainment, equipment outside. And really this is makes huge uh, conflict between them. So because of that, at, at the beginning, I said that uh, parents are angry, disappointed, and regret to bring their children or leave their country to come here. And also, the children are very uh, bored, and they have no choice. 
So when I come to conclude the root con uh, conflict of the that uh, conflict, uh, the root causes of that conflict in the immigrant families, how it is? It is because of cultural differences, a lack of multicultural knowledge and skills, lack of knowledge and self-awareness, and uh, because most of them they are not aware of uh, the American or, or the system here, the regulation related to child safety, the houses, and how they can discipline their children, and this is brought so huge problem for them. Uh, technology, language, and economic status also contribute to the conflict, besides imitation on the part of uh, African immigrant children, and the absence of dialogue because of the language. So, after all this, the root causes of the conflict, so we came to the solution. There are two kinds of solutions, short term and long term. But the objective of the solution is to help children and their parents to understand that the problem is the uh, cultural differences and also the absence of dialogue because of the language. They have to try to find a way to, to, to develop a dialogue between them. Uh, also, teen needs, uh, their parents need to listen to them to have their uh, voice heard. And to have their voice heard, I have an uh, just example, one of the many stories. And this is also to show us how the absence of uh, conversation and also the difference of perception affects those people. I talked to one of uh, those uh, teenagers, and there are so many stories, but this is one of them. He told me one day he, or he, he wants many things, but their parents can't afford that. So he, he worked very hard to find a job. He found a job. The first paycheck, he was very happy. He just cashed it. He went running to where he wants some uh, things. He bought some of them. And uh, he came home with the high expectation. His parents were going to be very happy. Thank him so much for uh, taking uh, care of himself and help his parents to save some money that supposed to give him, to give it to his uh, siblings or to use it in any other way. When he came home, he was happy. He told his parents that, yeah, I got a check and look, this is what I bought now and this is the money I have. But he found that his parents were very angry. They say, you are selfish. You just think about yourself. You did not think about your parents, your house, your siblings. How do you, you deal to do that? Because the parents still they have their own culture and they see their son is one of the family and they see the family is one organism, not individual. But the child sees himself as individual and he can do that and he's supposed to be thanked for that. So he confused and there is no any explanation. So he, he just gave up and uh, no, no working anymore. He stopped the job, gave up the job. And uh, he doesn't, he has no any way to get the other things on the list. And, we, and then I asked his uh, parents. They told me the same story. And they upset, they regret to bring him here to think about himself rather than think about the whole family. And uh, I asked uh, his mom, do you think your child might have different culture than you? She answered me with the question, how do you think this child came from me and he could have another culture? So from here, we can uh, understand that when uh, the that speaker from Burmese, she chose what she wants, but she found that it is uh, unacceptable by the community because the community see her as a part of them, but uh, she sees herself, she can choose the things that she feels is appropriate for her 
and this is the challenge for the whole. So the, the short term solution uh, is uh, I designed uh, four programs, cultural competence workshops, and a program in conflict analysis and transformation, uh, self-awareness program, cross-cultural skills building uh, program. And the, the number two and, and four, number three and four self-awareness program, cross-cultural skills building program, both of them uh, currently being implemented by uh, that four women net organize, network organization, and even some people here uh, participate in that program. But for the long term, now I'm working on the program that reshift the children from their devices, uh, entertainment, from their friends or friends of friends outside to their home, to have time with their families, to their families will be able to pass on them their culture and also to have conversation, to build their skills and uh, to find out to work together to have a constructive relationship, healthy relationship, also to understand the differences in culture and how to build, build a constructive uh, common ground to bring peace to their home. Another thing also in this program, the, the long-term program, is to develop children with skills and responsibility. And this is what the parents feel that they miss. The other thing, both of them, parents and their children, are uh, also to gain intercultural uh, communication, to connect very well together, and uh, also parents and children develop listening skills and improve uh, conflict analysis and resolution. So if they are able to find out what is going on in the house, it is a conflict, they can be able to, to map out what is the source of this conflict or why this is conflict or what is the root of this conflict and find out how together they can uh, just bridge that uh, culture or to find a way to solve that uh, conflict. Uh, in conclusion, culture has influence in the relationship with the people. Also, it shapes people's uh, perception, choices, and uh, also behavior and how we interact with each other. We are, as immigrants, we always confused or uncomfortable in, our, in, in the new culture or new host country, unless there will be effort to raise awareness, to develop intercultural skills, and this is not, to develop intercultural skills also, it is not for the teens and their parents only, but also for those who are in, uh, in the people in the host country to have or create effective communication between all of them and to have a great community and involve men between, in, in, uh, in one community in our fourth or in our fourth Thank you so much, and this is what I have today.